Hey guys, what's up? It's KrummerS, and welcome to your clock tower quest guide for the 2007 servers. For this quest, you need a bucket of water or ice gloves, and it's also recommended to bring a few stamina potions and weight reducing gear as there's a fair bit of running in this quest. You also need the ability to run past level 53 ogres. To start this quest, head to the clock tower, which is located south of East Ardy. Alright, to begin, talk to Brother Kojo. Say, okay, old monk, what can I do? Option one. Now, what we need to do is basically find four cogs. However, we can only hold one at a time. Let's go ahead and go into the southern room. Opening the door. In here, we'll find a ladder. Go ahead and climb down that ladder. Now, if we follow this path to the east, we'll end up in a room which has four different color tiles. We first want to enter in the northwestern door and follow along this path to its most northwestern point. Once there on the ground you will find a thing of rat poison. Go ahead and pick that up and then now we need to head back through the northeastern path of this little area until we hit a couple of levers. Once you've come across the levers, go ahead and pull both of these. Now let's head into this little red area, which is just to the south. Once in here, there's a food trough located on the southern side. Use your rat poison on it. A short cutscene will occur of all the rats feeding. And then they will all die. Let's go ahead and head a little bit west in this room up to the gate. Go through the gate and take the white cog. Now climb up the ladder to the west. This will bring you outside the clock tower. Let's go ahead and enter back in. Now visit that southern room once again. And in the east of this room there will be a staircase. Go ahead and climb up that staircase. And then there will be another staircase, climb up it, this will bring us to the top floor. If we go to the western side of this little pillar that's in the middle, and you see this clock spindle, this is what we need to use our white cog on. Once that's done, let's go ahead and return back downstairs. Let's go ahead and climb down that ladder to the west again. And likewise, you run into that room with the four different color tiles. This time, we're going to go through the path that is on the southeast. So let's enter in through that door and follow it down south. This is where the level 56 ogres are going to be coming up. So keep that in mind. They're pretty easy to run past, and you should even be able to do it if you are a level 3. Alright, so you see that red dot on the minimap to the north or to the uh, northwest, go ahead, run there, take the red cog, and let's return back up that ladder to the clock tower. Back at the room with the color tiles, keep going till you get to the ladder, and climb up. Now on this floor, if we turn our camera angle to face to the east, we're going to be able to see this clock spindle. We need to use our red cog on that one. Okay, now let's go ahead and exit out of the clock tower here. And then once you're out, run very hard east. You see this water symbol on the map. If you happen to have an empty bucket, you can fill it up here. There also is a bucket spawn. Let's go ahead and keep running a little bit north and climb down this ladder. Now we need to follow this little cave type thing until we get to the end of it.
Eventually, we will come across a room which has six letters in it. Go ahead and push the wall to get in and take the blue cog and then climb up the ladder here. This will bring us back to the outside of the clock tower. Let's go ahead and make our way back inside. And make our way back into the southern room. And climb up the staircase to the east. Once here, on the southern side of this little pillar, there is a clock spindle, which has a blue thing on it. Go ahead and use your blue cog on that. Let's head back downstairs now by climbing down the staircase, not up like I just messed up. Climb down and then climb down the ladder to the west. Now let's head a little bit northeast into that room with the four different colored tiles. And let's take the path which is to the northeast. Follow this path around. Now if you brought ice gloves instead of a bucket of water, now is the time to equip them. Open up this door here that goes to the east. You're going to see some fire. Go ahead and use your bucket of water on the black cog, or respectively if you have ice gloves on, go ahead and put them on and take the black cog. Once you have the black cog in your possession, let's head back to the ladder that we climbed down to get into this little dungeon area. And once you are back, use the black cog on the clock spindle, which is to the eastern side of the little pillar. Now let's climb up the ladder here to complete the quest. Speak to Brother Kojo, and that will be quest complete. Thank you for watching, and until next time, love, peace, and chicken grease.